I've got some ferrite magnets, the same kind you'd buy at the hardware store, on a steel bar. Also mounted the steel bar as a coil. It's copper wire wound onto a steel core. The output wires go to this little uh, breadboard which has some LEDs on it. And uh, in order to generate electricity, normally you'd expect to see relative motion between the magnets and the coil, and I can show you that. If I move the coil by the the magnets by the coil fast, I can light up those LEDs. Hard to get the exact right, uh, get it real close without hitting. Now here's another way that I'm going to generate electricity without moving these two parts. And the way to do that is to make and break the magnetic circuit across the top here. And I'm going to use this hinge. It looks brass, but actually it's steel. And I can tell that because it attracts to this magnet. So that has good magnetic properties. And when uh, I can use that to open and close the magnetic circuit. Now you should be able to see that when I close uh, the LED on the left lights on your left. When I open the LED on your right lights. Close, left, open, right. Now if I flip the magnet that's going to reverse. Close right, open left. Close right, open left. Now you may wonder how I made my coil. Um, I mentioned that there's a steel core and the way I did that was just using uh, hardware store items, just a bolt and um, some, some small washers to form the center of the core and some larger washers to form the end of the spool so I can wind the, the copper in between. And it's important to have an, an iron core so that when I close, close my magnetic circuit, uh, except for the magnet, everywhere that the flux flows is uh, through steel. And having a steel path allows me to get the most out of my magnets. And uh, that's my video. Thanks for watching.